this last one, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I didn't like this one. Okay. He <laughs> said, why have the 49ers not announced John Lynch's contract extension? The silence almost makes you think there's a mutual bitterness there, right? right. Um, and I'm gonna tell everybody why I'm gonna tell my every after. Grant expands on why he tweeted that. I'm going to tell everybody why I think they haven't announced both John and Kyle, Kyle's deals, right? So, Grant, explain to, to us why did you tweet that, bro? I think there's bitterness right now between the front office and Lynch. I just – I really believe that. Uh, we could go through the whole timeline. But the fact that Shanahan got the extension first, that Lynch kind of went AWOL for two months, that he came back yes, and – Bowl, bro, he needed a break. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fair. But um, I, I really believe that he got his eyes opened to who Jed and Parag and John really are this offseason. But why would he? Why would he be signed though, bro? I like he already, he already said, said that they promised him an extension. They didn't give it to him right away. He was angry. He left. He came back and gave the most brilliant interview ever on KNBR because what he did was he, he did. told people that Jed York promised him an extension. He put it out there mm. he Jed into a corner and got the extension the next day. But what he didn't get was an announcement. The Niners announced that Kyle Shanahan got an extension. Didn't have a, a, a statement from Jed, but they announced it to mm. the PR. But I believe a that Lynch leaked the story to Adam Schefter or whoever, and he basically announced it himself. But the Niners never did, and their attitude is, uh, okay, here it is. You got your extension. I, We're not going to throw you a parade or even mention it. And some people hey, are like, well, they don't uh, have to mention sucks. it. It's just a GM. But, 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 In 2012, when they gave Trent Balky an extension, four years through 2016, Jed York personally tweeted it, personally. So to me, there's a pattern of things showing that there's a disconnect between oh, John man. and Jed. I don't hear that. five years. And whatever they need to do to make John happy, pay him a certain amount of money, they've done it. But I'm telling you, John's eyes are wide open. He knows what those people are that, that he works for. He, they're wide, I'm sure he loves the organization, loves Kyle, loves the players. But it's Not tough the to owners. work that organization. And a lot of coaches have, have, have discovered this before and GMs. Okay. okay, so the first thing that I would say was, was that he already explained that they were going to do Kyle's deal first because he was getting massively underpaid compared to all of the head all of the other head coaches in the league, right? Mm -hmm. so he basically explained like we already were going to do Kyle's deal first, anyways, True. right? I wasn't tripping on that. Um, and second, um, he kept on bigging up the Yorks. Oh, he was brilliant. I'm telling you, it's the it smartest thing really? I've ever heard because like, compare it to Mostert. Mostert demanded a trade. Mostert got angry. Lynch didn't express that. Lynch comes out and says, first of all, I want to tell you, I love Jed York. Jed York, what did he say? Jed York is a man of his word. <laughs> he said, Jed York <laughs> is a man of his word. And that's why I know he's going to give me this extension because he promised. If he really felt that Jed York was a man of his word, he wouldn't have said that on the said radio. That, right. He, he kind of forced his hand a little bit, I mean, put it out there. Positively pressuring Jed York, and it worked. I think it's brilliant. And I don't – I mean, I'm not surprised. He's at Stanford. He's a very I, smart That's player. jacked up if you got to do that, those type of tactics. It's hey. jacked up. And I'm sure he's uh, he's upset that it had to come to that. You know, but um, if you yeah. work for the Yorks, you got to be clever, and you got to be able to secure your own bag the way Kyle Shanahan did. Okay, well, I, I, I'm going to tell you that I've I've seen a tweet from the 49ers official page stating that John Lynch got his five year extension. So okay, cool, cool. Uh, you know, what I'm saying? but exactly. after the fact, though, right after uh, Lynch, uh, but, but they haven't had the press conference for John and Kyle, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you guys why, and I'm going to look like a genius when it happens. I'm calling it right now, I'm calling it. They did not announce John Lynch's. Or Kyle Shanahan's extension because they're going to do John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, and George Kittle, and his <laughs> deal be done all at the same day at the same press conference, baby. I called it today. What time is it? It's twelve forty-seven. It is Saturday, August eighth. I called it when George Kittle get his deal. They're going to announce George Kittle, John Lynch, and Kyle Shanahan. I hope all so. Time, they might. I hope and so. If they do it that way, they create the impression that everything is hunky-dory in Ninerland. But I'm telling you, it ain't. It ain't. It, it's just not. But you know what? It doesn't have to be. 
what the funny right. thing about organizations is there's always this kind of strife right under the surface that fans don't know about. It's like men in black. There are aliens in the world and the, most people <laughs> don't know about it because they, they would make them too upset. Yes, there's personal <laughs> and John Lynch, but it doesn't really matter because they worked it out. He got his extension. He'll be here for five more years. But I'm telling you, man, it, look, if you were for Jed York after three years, I think you would probably look at him uh, with your eyes wide open and not have any illusions of what they are.